So it's almost, if there were a particle there, then there would be a force. And in fact, what you were guessing about the way the forces work is absolutely right, because if we have an electric field at some location, R observation, and it's due to some charged particle whose identity we don't necessarily know. As you pointed out, we, this field could have been done to, due to a positive charge over there, a negative charge over there, but we'll call it charge 1. So we'll have a subscript 1. Then we observe a force on some particle that we're going to call 2, because this is a different particle. This is the source of the field. And this is the thing that's affected. And in fact, usually when we write an electric field in a physics equation, we actually just leave that part out. But it's always implicit. There's always some location at which we're measuring the electric field. So we always mean the electric field at some observation location. And in fact, you're absolutely right. The force is, in fact, directly proportional to the electric field. And it's also directly proportional to the charge of the object that's being affected. So a proton experienced a force in that direction. An electron experienced a force equal in magnitude, but in the other direction. Now let's, let's see if this equation works. So this is the thing that's affected, particle 2. Let's see if this equation makes sense in terms of directions. We note that it's a vector equation. This says that electric field is a vector. And what are the units of electric field going to be? What are the units of force? Newtons. And the units of charge and SI units are coulombs. So what are the units of electric field? Newtons per coulomb, right? So Newtons per coulomb. OK, so we had. We put a proton at our observation location, and we saw a force on a proton going that way, right? What do we conclude from this observation about the direction of the electric field at that observation location? Is it the same direction? Do we know anything? Well, it's a proton. We put a proton here, OK? So we put a proton. Look at this vector equation. The charge of a proton is positive. We had a force in the minus x direction. Does the vector equation alone tell you the direction of the electric field? Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Because if two vectors are equal, their directions have to be equal, don't they? And so this is a positive number. That means that we can actually deduce that at this location, there's an electric field in that direction. So the direction of the electric field can be determined by releasing a little positive charge there and seeing which way the, the force acts on it. Um, and notice we're very careful to put the tail of an electric field vector that we draw at the observation location. Because that's where we've measured the field. And the field might be different at some other location. So our cue to where we're talking about is where we put the tail of the vector.